Hi, and welcome to the series on Microsoft Power Apps. Today I'm going to be covering galleries, and galleries are really useful for your app because you can use them to create dashboards and display information out from a SharePoint list or from a SQL database or, or any kind of uh, table data in your application. You know, you get lots of versatility with Power Apps and heaps of versatility with Power App galleries. So um, let me show you how to build one re a really simple example uh, based on a SharePoint list and um, you can experiment from there. Okay, so I've got a blank app open here. It's uh, it's just a tablet app and I'll, you would use a tablet app when you're creating a desktop application as well. So the first thing I'm going to do is um, I'm going to just drop a gallery down on the page and I'm going to select a vertical gallery. I want to connect that to a data source. So in this example, I'm going to connect it to a SharePoint list. I'm going to add a data source. I'm going to choose SharePoint and that's choosing SharePoint online. I'm going to paste my URL in, hit go. That's going to bring up a list of all the SharePoint lists that are available in that SharePoint site. Now you can also connect to data to document libraries, but um, in this case, I'm just going to choose one of the uh, SharePoint lists. I'm click connect. And now that's connected. So we can see here, we're already displaying a whole heap of values from our SharePoint list. Um, some of the things we can do, we can make this gallery larger or smaller. We can remove some values. Let's just get rid of all the um, controls that it gives us. We'll select this, um, we'll select the, re the repeating section. And this repeating section is very similar to what you might be used to in, if you've built InfoPath applications in the past and you've used a repeating section control. So galleries are, you could almost think of a gallery as being a repeating section control. So what I wanna do here now is just drop a couple of labels into the gallery and Drop another one down. Okay, so we see that has selected title, so we'll keep it as title. We might um, we might want to make that a little bigger, so we can do that. And we might also want to bold it. We can do that as well. Now in here, we know that this is the description field and within my SharePoint list, I know that this is a multi-line field. So let's just change the overflow property to scroll. And we can move this box all the way to the end. Other things we can do is we can make this shorter. We can make the gallery shorter. And when we display that, a gallery is displayed to the screen. Now we can play around with the formatting here and get this to look exactly how we want it to look. Um, you get loads of, like I said, you get loads of flexibility. Make this a bit bigger. Let's move this down a bit. And this should now display really nicely, and it does. So the other thing that you probably will want to do is filter these items based on a value from your data source or your data connection. Now, in my example, I've got a column called approved and I'm gonna filter my gallery based on this approved column. Now I've got just string values in here and it's either yes or no. So I just wanna show the yes records. And I can see here, there's only one record in my data source in my SharePoint list that's a, that has a yes there. So after I filter this gallery, I should only see one record. So let's go ahead and do that. Select the gallery. And then I choose the items property. And in here I can see that that it's currently set. Oh, let me go back to that. Select the gallery. It's currently set to be uh, my SharePoint list. Um, so I'm just going to use the filter command, open brackets, and we can see Power Apps is now prompting us for uh, prompting us with how we use this function. Really helpful of Power Apps to do that. We can see a data connection source, which is our SharePoint list, comma, and now a logical test. We, here we want to have, I'm using the approved column, select that, equals, open quotes for it because it's a string, close quotes, and close. 
now I can see the little dot scrolling along. It's uh, reloading, refreshing the data, and now I'm returning back that single record. So with the filter function, we're filtering the gallery and we're filtering the view for the end user and basically showing the end user what we want them to see. As I said, you can um, play around with these fields. You can move them um, where you want and you can set up, um, you can set up more fields in, into your section if you want, if you want to show uh, like the created date. Um, I can just go in here and add another label and move this down here and make this the created. And that's now displaying a date. We can do all sorts of stuff with this, but I'm going to actually leave it there because I think um, this should give you enough to start on and let you build your own galleries in um, Microsoft Power Apps. If you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe, and feel free to leave comments in the comment section below. Thank you so very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.